boom oh all right so welcome again to military guna tv thank you very much guys for joining me and well uh, let me fix that first what the heck is what is that what is that give me a second people what is that what is that there good yes so welcome again to military guna tv thank you very much for joining me and i have good news i have good news again um for the jamaica premier league another update um two updates actually I, I almost forget this one. I almost forget this one. Now, the first update has to do with investment inside the job, inside of the JPL. And the second one has to do with two JPL clubs that are actually going to be participating in the Caribbean, the CONCACAF Caribbean Champions, um, champion, Club Championship. So I'll get into that details. Before I do so, what I want you guys to do, smash the like button, hit that subscribe button. As you know, I'm on the road to whatever amount of subscriber. But the only way I can reach here, so this is the road, this is the beginning, this is the end. If I want to reach from here to here, it's by you hitting that subscribe button. And it costs you nothing, not even a dollar. So it's free. I only think free on the channel. Everything else, you have to pay a fee. Like, pay for listen to me, chat foolishness every day. <laughs> but anyway, it's free. So, so hit the subscribe button and let's get into the details of what's happening. So hopefully you guys are doing good. Really hope that you guys are doing good. So let's get straight to the article. <clears throat> this article was actually is actually on Sportsmax. It's on Sportsmax, the Sportsmax website. Let's read. Let's read the headline first. As you can see, let me minimize myself. Hey, you don't need to see me. You don't need to see me. All right, let's read it. Jamaican government pledge ten million dollars to support the Jamaican the JPL League. Ugh. <laughs> wow it might sound it might sound small but it i think it, it goes a, a long way so let's read into it jamaica sports minister bob olivia 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 bob the grange i'm saying bob i'm putting bob in there i'm put in there um has pledged 10 million dollar in support to country's premier league support to the country's premier league clubs for the 2022 season in a statement released on thursday Granger Minister of Gender, Culture, Entertainment and Sports said the commitment to the league is essential as sports plays a significant role in a nation building. Well, at least now people are seeing how important it, um, football is in is the country. We're talking about development, but no one wants to play their part in development. Um, so, as the minister, I would like to reassure the sports sector that we continue to put our money where our mouth is in supporting the various sporting organizations. When the record boys needed the support, nah, no one cares. No one was there. But anyways, sport, as everyone knows, is well is about wellness, social intervention, recreation, and business. It plays a vital role in the economy and in non-nation, in a nation building. What is it, non-nation? All right. As, a, as such, the funds will be disbursed to each Premier League club to help offset their expenses in what has been challenging times because of the pandemic. The clubs can collect Jamaica hundred thousand immediately for their January payment and two hundred thousand later this month for their February payment. For the remainder of the period, it will be one hundred and fifty thousand a month. The Sports Development Foundation (SDF) will disburse money directly to the clubs, and I'm asking that they contact the SDF now to pick up their checks for January," said Minister. Nice, 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 nice. A total of 10.8 million would be disbursed overall. Premier League clubs, um, Premier League, Premier Football Jamaica Limited, PFGL, will also benefit from government with a similar allocation to assess to, to assets which to assist with administration, the minister said. I wish the clubs and the JPL J people be a partner but anyways the pfjl a successful season in the 2022 and i hope that their situation will it be improved by this donation from the sports minister where's that money coming from all of a sudden where the money they are coming from all of a sudden <laughs> hey people hey man telling you know where all this influx of money are coming from all of a sudden probably just bought them to a book of money <laughs> maybe bought them to a book of money, money. Just, just say, just maybe, just maybe, people, just maybe. Let's butt into it and buck up on it. Anyways, 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 anyways. So we're gonna get into the the next part of the topic that I want to speak to you guys about. Let me. I'm trying to search for it. 
Mr. Ma it's not Mr. Rome. It's not Mr. Ma Rome. Yeah. I want to get to you guys, speak to you guys about let me get onto it. Uh can cough. And I actually was on this page this morning, so I don't think it should be that difficult to bring in bringing up this page. All right, good. So yeah, I'm gonna share this page right now. So it's it's, it's short, people. It's short. It's nothing long. It's not. It's nothing long. Good. So the Concacaf. Go back. The Concacaf official draw for the Caribbean champion club championship. Let me read into it. Let's see what it says. Yeah, really. Why am I not seeing it? What's what's happening here? I'm not sure what's happening here, people. I am sure that I I could have read the entirety of the article this morning. I could have read the entirety of the article this morning. Okay, but anyways, let me come off this then. That's that's sad. That's really really sad. Let me let me scroll go up to the, to the actual article, the actual part that I took away from it. So here it is. This is it, people. So Jamaica has two clubs which are going to be participating in the Concacaf Club Champions Cup championship two clubs which are as you know cavaliers football club and waterhouse football club as you can see let me bring it up as you can see these are the these are the, the, the fixtures these are the standings and how it look it looks uh, that looks kind of small i'm not sure if you guys are seeing it but anyways <laughs> it looks small for real so we have six teams two from each nation two from dominica and also two, two from Haiti and two from Jamaica. Um, I don't really know the other clubs, so I don't really want to mention. I just want to say um, well done to both the, the, the JPL teams, Waterhouse and Cavalier FC, or Cavalier Soccer Club. Um, so Jamaica has two clubs participating, participating in this year's CONCACAF Caribbean Club um, Championship Tournament in Miami, Florida. The six teams participating um, learned, they, they found out their group said this morning, Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, the, the tournament features six clubs hailing from Haiti, Dominica Republic, and Jamaica, split into two groups of three, and will take place in Domin Dominica, Dominican Republic from May 13th to 2020. 13th to 20 um, to the 25th, 2022. Yeah, people be a far Mary. <laughs> but anyway, so in our aspect, people, um, we, we I think I will be looking out for this one as well. I will be looking out for this one keeping close contact with this one specifically because as you know i cover the jpl so everything that has to do with the jamaican premier league team i will be a part of it so guys in the meantime smash the like button hit the subscribe button as you can stand by for another update quite soon yeah and this one is a very very interesting topic so look out for that one see you guys again military guna tv people and i am out